For this exercise, the squad is split into groups working around five different stations. Each area deals with different aspects of keeping close control. At station one, players slalom in and out of the red cones before changing pace to finish at the end marker. Station two also dribbles around the red markers, but here the players must use the opposite leg when moving around each cone. At station three, the movement is keeping close control around the hoops, again with a short burst to the end. Agility and coordination is added to the next station, where players must slide the ball under the bar whilst jumping over to maintain control. Between each hurdle, the players must perform a step over technique. At the final station, players dribble up to one marker, perform a turn and dribble back to the preceding cone. After the third marker, the finish is again at speed. Each group works through the drill once before moving on to the next station. The session is designed to improve dribbling skills and across all the work areas players are required to keep close control of the ball, use both feet, be able to quickly change direction and show acceleration speed. This kind of practice is ideal to use, particularly when working with a large group of young players.